hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel uh, for a very long time now the Biafra agitation has been and um, the indigenous people of Biafra have decided to air everything out once and for all they are trying to or rather they have decided to you know make everything public over a lot of things that's going on of course uh, Masob all the Biafra agitators are actually speaking this time around they are speaking with one notion before we go to the newspaper to find out what um Niamodo, uh, Masob, ipob and all the likes are saying especially what is happening in southeast remember that is right now it's quite very hot before we go to the newspaper, like to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as update our channel on youtube well for the often time the indigenous people of biafra ipob has watched its hands of the incident taking down of people in the southeast. The Pro Biafran group, in a statement issued by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, condemned the unending, unprovoked movement that is going on. We'll, I quote him We we'll restate our belief in peaceful restoration of Biafra. IPOB has no hands in the senseless movement going on in our territory. We are freedom seekers and we remain peaceful in our pursuit for freedom of Biafra, IPOB said. The group therefore frowned at a statement credited to the former Ohane Zendibo President General, that's Chief John Nyawodo, asking IPOB to stop taking down their people, saying, We see this statement as that of a drowning man who wants to grab anything to stay afloat. IPOB asked Umwodo, if he had investigated those who who took turn and attacked Ajali police station and confirmed they were IPOB, has he also investigated who uh, moved against the convoy of Chris, of Honorable Chris Azubugu, when he was coming from Oka to Newi, where he dumped PDP for APC and confirmed it was IPOB? The group advised the former Ohanese President General to caution politicians like him than to be busy chasing shadows and accusing IPOB. Meanwhile, the Biafran Independence Movement, BIM, and Movement for Actualization of Sovereign State of Biafra, MASOB, have called on the people of the South East to remain vigilant and resist the moves by the, uh, by the ruling All Progressive Congress controlled federal government under President Mohamed Buhari to allow insurgents to overrun the country. The BIM Masop, stroke Masop, Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity, Elder Chris Mocha, in a statement issued in Onicha yesterday, expressed worry that the Igbo are likely to be the worst hit in the event to Islamize Nigeria, particularly the South is because they are the major victims of the present Sharia laws being imposed in some states in the North. You could recall that before now, some people have been nursing the ambition of transforming Nigeria. It noted also, the group also appealed to the Aquaibom State Commissioner of Police, CP Mr. Andrew Emenigim, to release Mr. Akaidem Afyong Akpan, who had been reportedly detained in, in Ikot Akpanabia Divisional Headquarters, Uyo, since May this year for supporting Biafra's self-determination struggle. The group said that the couple, a serving policeman and his wife, Mrs. Blessing Akpan, are being punished because they were appreciating the untiring efforts and the non-violent methods of Chief Raf Uwazurike to achieve Biafra's sovereignty through peaceful means. All right, um, quite a lot was said here. Uh, but let's start with what um, Wanda Chief Nyawodo said, uh, John Nyawodo, for, for the records, just to keep it uh, keep us abreast, uh, keep our memories afresh. John Nyawodo actually handed over to the two factions now that we don't even know which one is exactly the president of uh, Ohanes and Debo. We have the um, Izu, Izu Guzoro faction, and uh, we also have the um, Prof Obiozo faction. Okay, so uh, Unyawodo was the president general then, and now um, I guess based on the statement he made that Ima Powerful got hold of was that uh, maybe IPB was actually in charge and involved. 
in all the menaces going on in the southeast and the, he was calling them out uh, that they should stop the menaces that is definitely is not um, in the favor of the Ndibos. Of course, um, Emma Powerful have decided to respond to him and to his claim, although I didn't see the statement made by Ohane's Ndibo John Nyanwodo. I didn't see the statement and I also didn't hear it. I'm just actually hearing it for the first time from Emma Powerful saying that um, uh, the IP was actually involved in all the issues going on in Southeast. But Emma Powerful have said to debunk it, saying, look, uh, this whole thing is actually political politically driven but as a name he called him that caught my attention he called him a politician he said one your fellow politicians which means he's saying that now what is a politician don't forget one of the criteria of being um pg that's president general of ohanes and Dibo, or any social cultural group whether fenny Ferrell or arawa and the rest one of the key uh, you know proponent is the fact that you must be a political. You must neither belong to any party. You must be so a political so, so that when you speak, you are speaking with um sense of justice, equity, and fair fairness. Okay, but Emma Powerful just called me politicians saying, Look, tell your fellow politicians. So Emma Powerful was actually driving home a different narrative saying that this uh, man who was uh, uh, honorable that was uh, were laid on the road, which is called cover were laid was a case of a political maneuvering that has a lot of political undertone that he moved from ap from pdp to P apc so he's actually insinuating that there could be more of from um, a political issue than an Ndibo issue so he's actually saying that uh one is indeed want uh, that's uh, sorry in that word the general world wants to get some sort of recognition by saying what he's saying well right now what the Ndibos need right now than any other thing right now is peace. All right, um, just some hours ago, um, Governor Hope was at the mass said, Look, this is ready to fish out all the miscreants disturbing that says, Henceforth, there shall be peace in the land of Emo and all that. But the truth is, right now, I, I think we should, uh, we should start moving towards factual actualization, as in actualizing issues, actualizing what is on ground, not propaganda. If there's yeah, we are asking for security, let there be securities on ground to protect the people. The way these things is going here, eh, they will just be they may likely be more name callings and things will be happening. Whenever there's chaos, usually even people who are not even from that state, uh, non uh, state uh, uh, state actors can actually enter and begin to do a lot of things in the name. Of whatever names you have decided to get comfortable calling or calling a dog a bad name whatever it is but i think everybody should be vigilant and it is going to be okay see the scenario you keep calling ipob ipob keep denying it but things keep happening so who is doing this i think all hands should be on deck to see how we can fish out and whoever that is caught should be prosecuted and justice should be meted so that peace may return to that region let's listen to that conversation please what's your take or what